Just like Moody Air Force Base, the city of Valdosta has a working dog unit in the police department. In order for each unit to increase their proficiency, they get together for a training session. Whenever we get a chance to work with outside agencies, it just makes it that much better. Um, you're looking at a wide variety of uh, different training aspects coming from different um, ways of doing it. We present one way to them, they present another way, and we all bring it together and it looks, it looks good. At the end of the day, we're able to find drugs, we're able to save lives, and that's a good day for us. Besides the friendships and camaraderie that are built, the returns of this training can be seen where? On the street, uh, when we're doing our everyday operations out there, um, we're able to see different things that some of these guys pointed out to us that our dogs had an issue with, and uh, it, we're able to use it on the street and make sure that we're able to adapt and overcome and be successful when we're running our dogs. But for Moody Air Force Base, this training has a vital role to play, not just in the community. This training is substantial to our mission. Uh, we have to train our dogs well well enough to make sure that they go out and they can complete the mission, which is when we're out there downrange, you know, we're saving lives out there, not only for the Air Force, but for the Army, the Navy, and Marines. Uh, K-9, we have to be the front runners. We're the first in, first out. So we have to ensure that our dogs are trained better than our people are. That way we can ensure lives come home safely. And at the end of the day... I just want to thank Moody for allowing us to come out here and build this relationship up. Uh, it means a lot. It's something that we just kind of started doing recently, and uh, we hope to continue on for many years to come. I'm Staff Sergeant Eric Berger, right, Moody Air Force Base, Georgia. <laughs>